everyone, it's Lunar Light Tarot. Welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new. I am so happy to have you with me here today. So today my background is a little bit different. I'm filming from my parents' house, aka like my childhood home. And um, you know, a girl had to come out here without makeup because I wanted you guys to like, you know, have a moment with me and I ain't got no makeup. So we doing a rock today, okay? So uh, today's topic is gonna be all about what is your current reputation, okay? So I have three books in front of me that you guys can choose from. For pile number one, the book is going to be Sacred Science. Sacred Science for your current reputation, pile number one. Pile number two is going to be Saint Germain on Alchemy. Okay, Alchemy, number two. And pile number three is going to be the 48 Laws of Power. Okay, these are my dad's books, <laughs> so you can probably guess. Okay, and I'll just do my best to hold them up all at once. Pile number one, two, ah, bear with me. Pile number one, two, and this is three. <laughs> okay. One, two, and three. All right, so while you are choosing, I'll go ahead and tell you that the OG reading today, aka for the reading for my subscribers, is going to be all about how do others react to your haters, okay? So when people, you know, spew hate about you, they try and throw dirt in your name, how do people react to that? What are they thinking when your haters speak to them? Okay, so that is gonna be the OG topic for today. Of course, I have a Patreon. If you guys want to see more of this mug, it's definitely on Patreon and also on TikTok. Um, I do a lot of TikToks and I also have a website where you can book a, re a personal reading with me, okay? And I would love to have you on any of those uh, platforms. But YouTube is currently fine. It's totally awesome, okay? I'm so happy to guys have you guys on YouTube as well. So I hope that you have enough time to choose and we're gonna go ahead and get straight into pile number one and I'll see you at your pile, okay? Bye. Hello, pile number one. If you chose sacred science, this one is for you. Let's go ahead and get into what is your reputation, okay? I got my water, I got my wine, feeling like Jesus. So we about to get into this, okay? I'm already prayed and shuffled over all of the cards. So yeah, what's your current reputation right now? Are people viewing you? Uh, are people thinking about you? Are people saying about you? What is your current reputation? For those who chose pile number one, if you're excited, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so we have the three of wands and the knight of wands in reverse. Okay, so your current reputation is that you're not distracted by flighty romantic offers. You're very focused on your goals. You're very goal oriented right now. Your reputation may even be that you're not really into romance at this point in your life. You're not into hookup culture. I would say more like hookup culture and things like that. You're maybe looking for like a long-term relationship or you're just in a long-term relationship with your goals, okay? Um, especially for my singles out there. Your reputation is that you don't mess with any players um, and that you're very goal-oriented. Even if you're in a relationship, it's like um, your reputation is that you and your partner are really stuck together. You know, you're in it for the long haul. You're for, for lifers. And that basically means, you know, you, you tend to get married. <laughs> and um, and people see that you and your partner are really well matched and your partner isn't playing you. Like, this is a good person who's going to help you and support you on your goals, okay? So the first thing that people are seeing about you is that you're very goal-oriented. Um, you're looking towards your future. You're not for the BS, okay? What's your reputation? Page of Pentacles in reverse. All right, your reputation is that you create your own opportunities. You don't need to wait for anybody to offer or open doors for you, okay? I'm also getting that you are picky with what you accept from other people, okay? Like you don't accept like small offers of uh, romance or even friendship, you know? Like if someone wants to be your friend, but it's more like for aesthetic reasons because you look a certain way, or that does happen, or uh, people want to hang around you just because you give great advice, but they never want to support you in your own endeavors, things like that, okay? You don't just keep people around to be popular, to be liked. That's part of your reputation. You keep people around because you actually enjoy their company and you enjoy uplifting them and supporting them and vice versa, okay? It's your reputation. Oh, whoa, okay, I just heard you don't play nice with others, okay? Three of pentacles in reverse. Um, your reputation is that, um, I heard you'll cut anybody off who 
isn't collaborating with you in the way that you see fit, okay? Like isn't valuing you as a person um, and is blind to your worth or is committed to misunderstanding you, okay? There's a bit like that. I, you could have cut some people off recently and that's how they're feeling about you. Um, so your, your reputation is that you work better alone, okay? Or that you work very well alone. It's also that you're very talented and you don't necessarily need other people to validate your talents or tell you that you're good at something. You can do that for yourself, okay? That's also what I'm getting. What is your reputation? Okay, two of cups. Okay, your reputation is definitely that you're attractive, that people get along with you. It's funny because we just got, you don't play well with others, but... I feel that this energy is more for people who want to play you. You know what I mean? You want to play games with you. You don't play games, all right? Um, you get to work. Uh, you get to support in people. You get to have fun. But we're not getting to playing any games, okay? Uh, I'm hearing you'll outplay people. And the way you do that is by removing yourself, okay? People don't know how to play the game when you remove yourself, right? So um, ain't a way to play when you got no pieces. But yeah, uh, your reputation is also that you get along well with people or the people that you actually do have connections with, they're very sacred and you're very selective with these people as well. Your reputation is that the people who actually are around you are good people and that they've been properly vetted. So actually you even being a co-signing on somebody or you being friends with them or publicly being friends with them actually raises that person's like social status. It makes people think that like, wow, this person must be a, a good person. They must have good morals or values because you hold yourself to such high esteem. There's no way this person can even come around you if they weren't in the same energy, okay? We also have the Ace of Wands here that kind of flipped over earlier. So your reputation is also that you have a lot of ideas. You're very creative. You're very driven and motivated. Um, you also get a lot of like, I'm hearing divine like downloads and intuition. Uh, people find you to be really interesting because you have a lot of different ideas. You could also like to change up your style, things like that. Wow. We have the world card and the empress. Yeah, so speaking of switching up your style, you're always changing in a way that makes you more attractive, okay? That's what people see on the outside, that you change and you become more attractive. But a lot of this is internal, right? I, this is a huge theme on my channel. You guys have seen me say this like a million times before. Change inner to change outer. That's what really makes you so gorgeous. You could see somebody on the street who is a 10 out of 10 and have a conversation with them, turns out they're, you know, a butt wipe and all of a sudden they're not attractive anymore. You know what I mean? So your beauty also comes from your, your morals, uh, how you hold yourself, how you treat other people, the way you get up every day and try to be a good person, okay? And try to show up for yourself and for others. That's what also makes you so attractive. And you healing yourself and taking the steps to elevate and whatever ways you do, taking the steps to move further along your path is also what makes you so attractive. So yeah, your reputation is that you're always elevating, you're always progressing, and that you're very private. You definitely keep to yourself. A lot of people can't really get a hold of you. A lot of people don't really, I've heard, I've heard um, you know my name, not my number. Okay, so a lot of people don't have your number. A lot of people don't really have ways to contact you or to access you. Your social media may be on private, okay? I see there are a lot of people who want to watch you right now, but don't have the access to. Maybe they're blocked. Um, maybe they feel like, maybe maybe, you, maybe your page even is public, but they feel like they cannot contact you. Things like that, okay? Uh, people are very curious about your life. I'm definitely getting like a curiosity kind of energy from this. Uh, people definitely see you as someone who's like a leader as well, or like some kind of thought leader. Like you share your opinions and people would really love to hear what you have to say. You are naturally influential and I feel that you naturally attract attention too. It's, I feel also for this group that maybe that wasn't the case growing up. Like you weren't the popular kid growing up and you didn't get a lot of attention growing up. So now that your reputation has changed to someone who's naturally popular and naturally gains attention and traction. People are very surprised at the shift that you've made. It's like you thought your way into this position. It's kind of crazy, you know? Obviously people say that you've taken action, but the people who are really tuned and tapped in have, can see that you shifted your mindset and then your world shifted along with it. Okay, so I love that. Okay, let's go ahead and look. That was the Modern Witch Tarot, and now we're gonna look at the Final Rose Tarot. What's your reputation for those who chose pile number one? What is our reputation? All right, we have the bachelor. Ooh, I just heard eligible bachelor. Okay, so 
Um, your reputation is that you have people, why did I just hear on your jock? <laughs> okay. People who want to date you, people who are interested in you. Um, so this is like the emperor to the empress. Okay. So you already got the empress card. And I'm also hearing that your reputation is that you have a healthy balance of masculine and feminine energy. Okay. Maybe even sometimes you lean towards more masculine and people like that about you. They like that you have this go getter energy to you that you can be logical, um, that you can mm, really push yourself to achieve your goals and really take that action. Okay. Those are, you know, more masculine energy qualities while feminine being, you know, more receiving, uh, more intuitive, receiving messages, you know, receiving guidance. All right. Um, attracting things to you. You have a good balance of both where you go out and get it and you also know how to sit back and receive, okay? That's part of your reputation. But a big part of it is also that um, you're very stable. You could even be a business owner or you aspire to own your own business. People feel like this is gonna be successful for you, especially if you've already created a business, okay? Uh, people feel this is gonna be really successful for you or you're going to be really well off in the future, okay? Mm, what else am I getting? Yeah, that people want to date you for sure. That people are like sprucing themselves up to try and date you. All right. So we have these six of rings here, quality time. Your reputation is that when you're around, the atmosphere is so much better. The energy is so much better. It's lighter. It's happier. You bring really beautiful energy to wherever you go, okay? That may be some of the reasons why you see strangers kind of like staring at you. You get stares wherever you go. Um, you guys will see as you continue to, you know, like elevate, and you probably already have seen, as you're stepping into this higher vibration, you know, more consciousness, et cetera, et cetera, people start to stare at you on the streets. Even when you're not even like looking good, you're just going out in your little jammies to get some milk from the store, people are staring at you because they can recognize your vibration is different. You know, on a soul level, they recognize, oh my God, this person, you know, they feel different than most people around me. That's why I'm going to like stare at them. Okay. So I'm getting, uh, but also that, yeah, the time you spend with people, they find it to be really valuable. Your reputation is that whenever you come around, you make things lighter. Uh, people really enjoy their time with you. You're really fun to be around. I was hearing that you're funny. Okay. So you have the eight of cups. Reputation is that you will remove yourself. If again, people are playing games with you or um, you need to distance yourself because people aren't acting right around you, aren't treating you in accordance to your value. Um, you're one who knows your worth, you know your value and you're not gonna sit there and chase people and try and convince people that you should be treated a certain way. You're just gonna remove yourself for people who are gonna do that off the bat, you know? Honestly, it doesn't matter how much time you spend with somebody either. You could be friends with someone for three, four years and they start acting up, you're going to remove yourself, okay? Because you know that your worth uh, isn't contingent on how long someone has known you or, you know, the elasticity of your relationship doesn't matter. You know how people will, like you're, you're really close to will start treating you kind of poopy because they've known you for a long time? I feel like that is so rude, but <laughs> you guys don't stand for that kind of stuff. You guys don't stand for people trying to abuse the elasticity of your relationship. You will remove yourself. So that's part of your reputation. Look, 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 sent home. Oh my gosh, yes. Your reputation is that you will send people home if they're not treating you right. You will, you will even ghost people if need be. Or you'll tell them like, hey, this is what I'm looking for. You know, I'm going to need to take a break. I'm going to need to remove myself. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Your reputation is also that you're not afraid to take a risk. This is the fool card or the contestant card. You're not afraid to put yourself out there and try new things. Um, I'm hearing like, I'm hearing baking or cooking. Maybe you guys could like baking or cooking and you like bring snacks to, you know, certain people to have them try it. That's a random message. But you guys like to try new things, okay? And you're not afraid of how uh, much work you need to put into it or how precise you need to be with the work. You're like, even if I mess up, that's okay. As long as I'm, you know, as long as I give it a shot and I keep going. So you guys have this... The reputation is that you have a really good mindset around trying new things, that you have a growth mindset. You're not just going to try something and then give up if it doesn't work immediately for you, okay? You're really persistent. That's a reputation, okay? You also have the host. I believe this is the Hierophant in the regular tarot. So your, your reputation is that people look up to you, people admire you, people come to you for advice. People also see that you're hospitable. You're a really good host, like whenever you have people over. Your reputation could also be that your house is really nice. You'd also be very well dressed, like very properly put together. Okay. Your reputation is also that people become a possessive over you and they want your energy all to yourself. 
um, because you are such a high vibrational person, like, and you also help influence people to be in that same mindset. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're drinking wine today. I don't know. It's my first glass, you know, don't judge me. Uh, what else do we have? Let's look at the Amira's <laughs> Love Oracle. Let's see. What is your reputation for those who chose pile number one? All right. Travel. You could like to travel, okay? Your reputation is that you like to travel or you're a good, really good travel buddy. Um, your reputation is that, yeah, you'd be a good person to travel with because you're so lighthearted and you know how to handle things under pressure. Um, your reputation is also that it's like taking a vacation when people are around you. Like, you make people feel like they're separated from their daily struggle, the daily life. Yeah, you make people feel like children again. You bring back people's youthful energy. So that's really, really exciting. You make you bring out the inner child in people. That's part of your reputation. Now they can just have fun and let loose with you. They're a great person to let loose with. Wow, we have true love. Wow, your reputation is that you really give love freely and without expectation, which by the way is so rare in today's world. I just want you to know how special that is, that you're the kind of person who, you know, freely gives to others without expectation of anything in return, just to be a good person, just because you feel like they deserve it. You know, so people love that about you a lot. Um, people do tend to fall in love with you easily. Okay. That's also part of your reputation. Okay. If you have past life, your reputation is that you easily create spiritual connections with other people. Again, like that easily falling in love is because again, you're becoming more enlightened. Your consciousness is expanding. You're seeing things from a different perspective. All of this transformative energy is really attracted to the, to the people around you, okay? And so people are going to feel like they have a special connection with you because they have a connection to who you are and what you're saying and what you represent, which is being your most authentic, authentic self, which is you know exploring your own mind to become who you are. That is a really big part of the hero's journey, the human's journey, I believe, on earth, you know, to explore ourselves and figure out who we truly are and step away from, you know, matrix programming, quote unquote, which is the media and marketing telling us who we need to be, telling us what our insecurities are. You're casting off things like that and figuring out, hey, like my tummy is gorgeous. No matter what the media or like modeling has to say, this is actually a really gorgeous part of me that I'm gonna lean in and embrace. And I'm gonna embrace the people that embrace me instead of trying to fit to all these norms that don't align with me and my body, you know? So stuff like that, all right? And that energy is, it's so authentic and it's so real that people feel very connected to you when you start voicing your opinions on these things or honestly just living your life and start accepting yourself. When you really, I'm hearing that, when you really started accepting yourself is when your popularity took off. You may not even really know this, but it was when you truly tried to cast off what other people put onto you to believe and embraced who you were, that people started to be so drawn to you, okay? And you became very different from the rest of the people around you. Okay, Per. <laughs> um, actually, let's move on from this deck. And let's look at my white and yellow cards. Guys, I, I think you know these are my favorite, okay? These are so fire. So let's go ahead and see what is your reputation. And be sure to check out the OG reading. The OG reading topic is going to be all about um, what others think when your haters talk, okay? So what people think about like what your haters have to say about you. And what, do they believe them? Do they not believe them? Like, what is it, you know? Okay, let's see. What's your current reputation? I keep writing and deleting texts. Okay, your reputation is that people want to talk to you, but they're too afraid to. Um, your reputation is also that you're very choosy with your words. You're very thoughtful about how you speak to people. And so people feel the need to do the same, but they're not on the same level as you. So they feel like they stumble over their words when they talk to you. Your reputation is that you make people nervous, especially when it comes to like having deep conversations with you. Some people feel like they can't keep up. All right, you're my ideal person. That's your reputation is that you're an ideal uh, partner. You're an ideal friend, okay? Let's see. I'm scared. What did I just say, guys? People are scared to talk to you. They're scared to approach you because your energy is so high. First of all, you see through people and their BS. 
Second of all, um, honestly, that that's, that's honestly step one. Cross me, there won't be a step two. Like that, that's really just it. Like if you guys know the Nicki Minaj lyric, step one, cross me, there won't be a step two. That's why people are afraid because you will cut them off in an instant if you even if you see the energy is messed up. People know when you start to distance yourself from them. You think you're being slick, but it's kind of obvious. <laughs> maybe you know you're being obvious. You know, maybe you know you're being transparent, especially when it comes to like people who've known you for a period of time okay when you try to distance yourself from them they know exactly what they did they know why you're separating and they know that you're in the right you know and so it's really hard for them to uh be able to confront you about things because if you are in the wrong and they come to you you're immediately like oh my gosh i apologize i did not mean to do this you know that was not my intention but i understand that i hurt you and you know that i'm so sorry blah blah and people don't have anything to say after that it's like you clear your own stuff and people are afraid to clear yours with you. It is what it is. All right, evil eye, spell work. Oh my gosh, talking poop. Okay, your reputation is that people talk poop about you. People tell you evil eye. Okay, if you want to know how people are reacting, when other people talk poop about you, please check out the OG reading. You know, I got to test myself in my parents' house. But uh, yeah, so your reputation is that people try and cast doubt on your name. People try and throw dirt in your name. And uh, it's because you're you're moving and shaking, you're, you're doing big things, you're triggering people with your authenticity. So of course they're gonna talk poop about you because you make them what? Insecure, insecure, all right? People feel the need to control you as part of reputation is that, I heard, I just heard Miley Cyrus can't be tamed, okay? So y'all can't be tamed as part of your reputation. People trying to control you and it doesn't work. It just won't work. I wanna get to know more about you. You're kind of mysterious. Your reputation is that um, people don't know much about you. They want to know more. What else do we have? Okay, look, look. Spiritualist, healer, witch, okay, spell worker. Again, people may even think you cast spells. That may be part of your reputation is that you're actually like a spiritualist or a witch, okay? People could say that about you. Um, people could say that, you know, that you're very angelic also, that you're a spiritualist and you're trying to help people. Even when people say like, okay, I'm getting there's two groups. For some of you who have been very open about your spirituality, some people even could be saying that you're like a witch and they could be afraid of you and like whatever powers you have made evident to people. Or there are some people who, okay, there are some people who see that you have some kind of spiritual ability and they feel like it's maybe, maybe it's BS so that you're just doing it for attention. And then there are some people who feel like you were like a divine messenger and that you were really doing this for the goodness of your heart and you're like an angelic persona, okay? So there's all kinds of people are reacting to you. Yeah, I want to get closer to you. So again, people want to get closer to you. They want to see what you're about because they don't really know what you're about. They, it's hard to tell. Even though you're very authentic and what you see is what you get, For sometimes for people, they haven't experienced people who put their money where their mouth is. And so they need to try and make up stories about you to fit their own narrative of people are dishonest, people are people lie, people are not, you know, who they proclaim themselves to be because that's their experience, they're going to project it onto you because they haven't experienced someone who's authentic even within themselves, okay? Cha. <laughs> what else do we have? What's your reputation? Okay. I'm sorry for hurting you. Yeah, your reputation is that people will be will be sorry. For hurting you um I, I just heard did it on him did it on him Nicki Minaj okay it's like why did this hear like come out stepping on these peeps <laughs> my parents are nearby so I can't I can't be saying words like ho okay Oop. anyway <laughs> so yeah I'm sorry for hurting you the thing is like your reputation now is that People get their karma when they mess with you, all right? So people don't want to hurt you. People don't want to step on your toes. It's known now that you don't want to get on your bad side. Period. All right, so let's wrap it up now with the da -da 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 Kipper deck. And guys, if you're feeling drawn to any other pile, do check them out. I'm going to be using different decks for different piles, okay? So let's see. What's your current reputation? Wow, we have official person. What did I say about you being authentic, you being real? People have not experienced this kind of energy um, lately or just around them, okay? You're an official person. People feel, like, people feel like you're authentic. Your reputation is that you're real and that you're up and coming, okay? You're rising in the ranks, especially at your job, okay? Um, your, your reputation is that you hold a high place in the community, Lord. 
We got privileged lady in the community card. Okay, so uh, your patient is that people see you as a privileged person in the community or that you've naturally, again, you get a lot of attention, you get a lot of praise or accolades in the community. Some people may feel like you don't even deserve this. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I, I know you've been putting in the work, so I'm just like, what do you mean they don't deserve it? Like, okay, sure. Um, and then there are some people who are really, again, they're happy for you and they, they totally see you as deserving this spot, okay, as this official person. Yeah, your reputation is that you influence the community, okay? That the community has, a, you have people who are around you who support you and uplift you, and uh, they, they like what you're doing, okay? Thief. Um, your reputation is that you've stolen the spotlight for certain people. Wow, haha, that's crazy. Yeah, people see, some people see you as like have, having stolen the spotlight from others that they thought were like more attractive or more interesting than you back in the day. Things have totally flipped in their head. People who thought that you would never have more than them, or honestly, people that you still have less than, now see you as being on top of them because what, your your morals are higher, your value for yourself is higher, you're putting yourself out there, you're being, an, you're being your most authentic self, you're standing in your worth and in your truth, and everything else is aligning along with that. So, so then comes, opportunities then comes support then comes people having their eye towards you and it's like people are like whoa 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 all of a sudden i'm not the poop anymore like i'm not the cool person i'm trying out <laughs> i'm trying with these sensory all of a sudden i'm not that person anymore this person's taking over my spot they don't even have this they don't even have that but it's not about that it's, it's about your vibration and it's about the authenticity you bring to the table which inspires others at a soul level okay Cars and fancy things, they may inspire you for a while, but it's its your soul's calling that's really gonna keep you going. Period. <laughs> Me and this wine, Lord. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a few more. Coffin. All right, so reputation is that you put to bed anything that is not working for you, anything that's not supporting you, it's not uplifting you, you'll let it be. And without a fight too. Your rotation is that you will not put up a fight for something that you did not break. You will not fix what you didn't break. And good for you, good for you. People need to know, you know, and people need to know how to take accountability. And when we constantly take it for them, guess who's not learning anything, you know? Yeah, look, main female, oh my goodness. Main female, your reputation is that you're that girl, okay? You're that person. People really enjoy being around you. And for my guys, you're that guy. I didn't, I didn't forget. Um, people really enjoy being around you. They enjoy your presence. They feel like you're a main person. They're like you, you, again, you naturally attract attention, okay? Which is kind of wild. Okay, so to recap, your reputation is that you focus on your goals. You're not going to let anybody who's in and out of your life distract you from what you have going on. You work better alone. Um, you won't take small fry offers. You're looking for the real deal because you can open the, oh, your own doors for yourself. If you can do it by yourself, you're not going to take something that you can, you know, get by yourself from somebody else. You're all good. You're all set. You get a lot of ideas from the divine. Uh, people really enjoy your presence. They find you to be really gorgeous, really beautiful. They also find your energy to be magnetizing because you're stepping into your authentic self and your authentic power. People feel connected to you. They feel like they're falling in love with you. They feel like they have past lives with you because your energy is so palpable. You make people feel like they could be themselves, like they could be, they could be, ooh, like they can be their inner child with you. You're a great host. Okay. People enjoy their quality time with you. People want to travel with you. People could be sending you evil eye. You know, people feel insecure. They feel like you're a spiritualist or a witch. They could be a little bit afraid of that too, but they also want to get to know you better. Um, your reputation is that people are sorry for hurting you or they will be sorry for hurting you or they don't want to get in your bad side. And that you have a community of people who uplift you because you're real, you're authentic, uh, and you're just out here trying to do your best for yourself and for other people. Okay, so that is reputation. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I know I had a blast. Um, I'm trying to think of like what else to say. <laughs> I do this outro all the time, but sometimes I just don't know what to say. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and I'll just leave it at that. Um, do give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel, become an OG. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay, love and light. Bye.
Hey there, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. If you chose Saint Germain on Alchemy, this one is for you. Let's go ahead and get into what is your reputation as of right now, okay? And we're gonna start off with the final rose tarot. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for your messages, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what is your current reputation, okay? For those who chose pile number two, what is your current reputation, Divine Spirit? Okay, yeah, we have the hopeless romantic. Oh, this is really cute. So people see you as somebody who believes in romance, who believes in love, and also someone who's like been through a lot, maybe in the love department, okay? I heard specifically some of you could have been cheated on, but you still really, you know, enjoy the idea of love. You're still a really kind friend. You're still a really kind person. Um, your reputation is also that you have a lot of people who want to be like suitors to you, okay? This is also the, this is the Knight of Cups in the regular tarot, as in people want to come in and give offers to you, okay? Yes, we're drinking wine today, and I all saw that. Anyway, um, we have cliffhanger. Your reputation is that you're always changing and you're kind of leaving people on cliffhangers. Like, people want to know what's going on with your life. I heard keeping up with the Kardashians, so people do keep up with you like, like the Kardashians, especially if you're Instagram or like you're, you have a YouTube chat panel or like you're just public in some way, you're on TikTok, blah, blah, blah. People love to keep up with you and what you have going on next. Even if it's just like your next nail set, your next hairstyle, your your next haircut, okay? Like um, your next video, people really want to know whatever it's going to be next. So people love to keep up with you. They love to see what you're going to do. I heard trendsetter. Your reputation is that you set trends, you don't make them, you don't follow trends, okay? You like to try new things, especially with fashion um, and creativity. Okay, we also have the four of wands here, the mansion. Your reputation is that you're very stable, especially of mind, like you have a lot of mental stability and maybe you built this up over the past couple of years or even months, like you're becoming much more mentally stable in some way. Your reputation could also be that you're building up money to like buy a house or to get a nicer apartment, things like that. Uh, your reputation is also that you have a nice house, so you like where you live now is really nice. People love coming over to your house as well or like, yeah, and, and you're a really good entertainer, or like a host at your house, okay? You can have a pool, that's random, but like people could like you for your pool too. <laughs> or you're good at playing pool, that's kind of random. That could be part of your reputation. All right, we have the um, Knight of Wands here, the front runner. So your reputation is that you're pretty much good at everything. That's kind of wild. Your reputation is definitely that you're good at everything. You kind of come out on top in almost everything that you do. So you have the Midas touch, like whatever you touch turns to gold. That's what I'm hearing. Whatever goal you set, you hit. That's what people really like about you as well. It's like what you say you're going to do, you do it. I'm also getting intuitively that your physique is really attractive. Like people really like your physique, um, especially like your behind and like, your chest, okay? Uh, but yes, people see you as somebody who comes out on top all the time, okay? That you're always winning. That's part of your reputation. Ooh, we have for the wrong reasons, okay? So you definitely have some haters who are saying that you're doing what you're doing for the wrong reasons. You're trying to get attention and power and clout for the wrong reasons or that you've been tempted to get clout or power, okay? Um, when really I feel like you're just doing your own thing, staying in your own lane. So that's really interesting. If you wanna know what people think when your haters talk to them, check out the OG reading. It's going to be all about how others react when your haters you know, talk poop about you, basically, okay? So your reputation is that you could be um, doing this for the wrong reasons or you're just doing it for clout, okay, or for power. Um, that like the way you continue to su succeed in your life comes from like a negative place and not from you believing in yourself and putting in the work, okay? Okay, sure. <laughs> um, all right, we have the quality time card. So people really enjoy their time with you. Uh, people feel like when they are around you, it's always a good time. Your reputation is that people want to invite you places. People want to spend time with you, especially in private, okay? People want to hear more from you. I'm hearing that you're very wise as well. As part of your reputation, people learn things just by being around you and being in your energy. What else is your reputation? Okay, we have the two of cups. It says, cheers. All right, your reputation is that you know how to hold your alcohol. That's the first thing I'm getting. You know how to hold your alcohol. You know how to have a good time and also like let loose. Okay, uh, reputation is that you are a really great time when you go out with people and that you naturally connect with people and make friends. Okay, especially friends, but also people who wanna like, again, date you, be around you, give you offers, things like that. But people love to be around you. 
Also, reputation is that you have nice hands. Random. Um, yeah, you have nice hands and you, again, you know how to handle your alcohol, okay? You're a really good person to invite for a night out. You don't cause any drama on the night out. You're always like calm and fun. Okay, ooh, we have the Bachelorette as ah, the Empress energy. So yeah, your reputation is that you're abundant, even lavishly so, that you are uh, increasing. I heard wallet getting bigger, okay? So your money could be increasing at this time or people feel like your money is increasing at this time. Maybe you're, you know, showing out in different ways or getting different things or, you know, buying bags or, you know, doing your nails or for my guys out there, you're buying new clothes, okay? You just bought, a, I heard someone just bought a long board, I don't know. Maybe someone started to skate, getting the most random messages, channel messages. But yeah, something that shows that you have more money than before. People are noticing that you have more money than before. Maybe your jewelry is changing. Okay, you up leveled your jewelry or clothes. Um, something like that. Or even the places that you're going to are more upscale than you used to go. Something like that. People are seeing you as definitely highly desirable. That's part of your reputation is that you're highly desirable. And you also don't need to flaunt this. It just is what it is. Like you don't need to, and no offense to anybody that does this. I mean, get your, get your bag, you know what I mean? Something, that's nothing wrong with that. But you don't necessarily need to, you know, go on TikTok and like, you know, for lack of better words, make a clap for some attention, <laughs> okay? You're able to just, you know, show up on your own energy um, and people naturally really gravitate towards you, okay? Uh, what I'm hearing is that you don't, there's no need to over-sexualize yourself for attention, okay? All right. You just, you know, you just don't do that. That's fine. All right, we have the camera guy. Your reputation is that you're very hardworking. You put in a lot of hours into whatever you do work for and that you're not deterred by hard work, okay? In fact, you may even relish in hard work. Some of you could be a workaholic. That's part of your reputation that you work You work really, really hard. Um, and also that, wow. Okay, we have the paradise card and also the bitch card. Okay, so you come off as two different people to a lot of, a lot of people, okay? Your reputation is that you, can, you have two personalities, okay? Not, not that you're two-faced, but that there are two versions of you according to how people treat you. There's paradise. I'm like, which one is that? There's paradise, which is that, you know, you really love people, you give them the same energy they give you, um, and you're very, you know, you're very giving towards them, et cetera, et cetera. You can imagine what paradise is. And there's also the bitch card here, okay? Which is that you set your boundaries, you're very strict with people, you don't let people walk all over you. If people want to walk out of your life, you're like, there's a door, they let you on the way out. It's that kind of thing. Okay, so people say there are two very distinct sides to you and how what you get depends on how they treat you, okay? Uh, people also say that you're a good person to get advice from, like you're like a good shoulder to cry on is what I just heard. I'm not gonna reshuffle these, I already shuffled this one. So that was the final rose tarot. We're gonna move on to the modern witch tarot. What's your current reputation? Okay, just falling everywhere. Oh, wow, the star and the five of swords. Your reputation is that um, you're able to heal from any sort of people um, either like manipulating you or not having your best intentions at heart or even, you know, trying to do their best, treat you right with the tools that they have, but they fall short, okay, and end up hurting you. You're able to really nicely heal from whatever situations that you've had gone through, especially with friendships and relationships, okay like romantic relationships um your reputation is that you see through bs you don't get involved in drama that's not you okay and then you walk away from people who started to start drama with you okay yeah when you walk away these people end up realizing what they did to you and when they're forced to deal with their problems by themselves they see that you know you weren't the issue okay that's a really big part of your reputation as well you send people into karmic awakenings what is your reputation? What's your current reputation for those who chose pile two? Alchemy. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Your reputation is that you are not afraid to turn off your emotions for people. You'll take away your emotions for people if they're not treating you right. You'll take away your kindness. Um, and it's not that you become mean, it's that you become uh, disinterested, okay? And also, what's that word? Indifferent, okay? You become indifferent. So the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. You know what I mean? So yeah, your reputation is that you'll easily take away your emotions for somebody and you're gonna switch it on and off according to how they treat you. 
with a reputation that you'll, you'll leave people out in the cold, okay? And people do feel that. It's cold out there, okay? It's freezing cold. Your love is so warm and your energy is so bright. Again, so warm. Yeah, when, when you remove yourself, it's very noticeable. It's very noticeable. The whole front group dynamic has changed. You were like the glue and the grease, okay? Oh my God, three of swords. What did I just say? Okay, your reputation is that when people leave your life because, you know, they broke their relationship, they go through a lot of karma afterwards and it's really hard for them. They don't find people like you after that, okay? When they choose to stay stuck in their low vibrational energy, you know, I don't, I don't always want to call it that because it sounds so elitist, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're low vibrational. Um, but when they choose to stay stuck and not, you know, evolve with you or see the error in their ways or take accountability, they end up surrounded by people who are the exact same, Okay who also don't want to take accountability, who also cannot be blamed, you know, for anything, uh, who can't, you know, who can't accept their part in the story. I'm just finding different synonyms to say accountability. But <laughs> yeah, these people, they, they can't find others like you after that. And it really breaks their heart. That's part of your reputation is that you will turn off your emotions to how people feel about you because uh, I think part of your reputation is also that you're so giving. People try to take advantage of you and they play themselves. They do play themselves, okay? Because you can see right through that. At least these days, you can see right through when people are trying to take advantage of your kindness and forgiveness and make you chase after them, stuff like that. You're not about it, okay? You're going to leave them alone and they're going to, you know, wallow in their own stuff. All right, we have the three of wands. Your reputation is that you're right focused on your goals. You're a really good manifester. You're trying to, you know, draw things to you and that you don't focus on really what's going on around you. You stay laser focused on what's coming in for you. How can you better your life? How can you become a better person? That's fabulous. That's all you need to focus on. That's all you need to focus on. Anything else doesn't really matter. Okay, page of wands in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse. Yeah, your reputation is that you won't even set the boundary. You'll just act on it. And I, I really want to just congratulate you guys right now because the point of a boundary, at least in my opinion, is not to tell people over and over and over again, oh my God, you crossed my boundary. Oh my God, you did this. This is my boundary. You can't do that. This is my boundary. The point is to, when they cross it, walk away. You know that one uh, meme? It's like, when there's drama at school, all you got to do is walk away. That was a vine, so I feel like y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, but all the, yeah, that, that's what you guys do. You don't, you don't have to say with your words, even that someone has hurt you, you know, that people understand the way they treated you. You know, there's no, there's no need for a conversation. Your reputation is that you understand the, what's my closet? Mm, the closure happened when they crossed you. Okay, maybe you want to watch pile number one because it was very similar. I'm hearing step one, cross me. There won't be a step two. Okay, you guys will remove yourself from any situation. You don't even have to speak on it. You don't even have to speak on it. People know what they did. You're fine with that. You're just going to remove yourself. Okay, it's about if it's a boundary, it's a boundary. You don't even have to, you know, build it up, set it up. You're like, it's like this is the way I operate. And you're gonna, you're just gonna see. You're just gonna see. Okay. That's fire. All right. So let's go ahead now and look at the Amira's Love Oracle to see more about your reputation. What is your current reputation? It could be a family. Your reputation is that you have a close knit family. Okay. Or if that's not the truth, then you have uh, friends that are like family to you. And that you feel like family to people very quickly. It's like people easily get attached to you. That's part of your reputation. Also, you give really great hugs or you're just very comforting. That's part of your reputation. Uh, I hear a like golden child as well. Like your patient is that like people treat you like the golden child or like uh, people treat you like, you know, I don't know, you know what to say, like the golden child. All right, we have uh, travel here. People want to travel with you or your patient is, could be that you like to travel. Okay, you could be a good travel buddy. You guys may want to check out pile number one because a lot of those same cards are coming out. You know, don't do it if you're not called to it, but if you want to. I'm not, I don't, I won't know. <laughs> All right, we have mature man. Your reputation is that you attract mature people to you and that you're also mature yourself. 
Also, you're aging really well. You're aging like fine wine, is what I heard. You know, speaking of speaking of some wine, speaking of some wine. I'm not talking about a minute, so I'm like, let me just slow down. Okay, open relationship, Lord. Okay, your reputation is that people sometimes in relationships could like have a wandering eye when it comes to you. Okay, or people want to get into relationships with you like quickly. Um, but yeah, people tend to like have a bit of a wandering eye when it comes to you. That's part of that. Okay. Your reputation is also that people try to play you in the past when it came to relationships. Like people who were damn near in a relationship with you were trying to play you out like they were single. Um, and you overcame that. Yes, this could have been someone who was like uh, a fairer skin than you, but they didn't act fair and or just in the situation. Uh, if that resonates with you and you know who I'm talking about, this person definitely got some karma about that. And people, their reputation has suffered from the way they treated you. Okay, that's what I'm getting there. Their reputation has suffered for the way that they, they've treated you. People no longer find them to be like as attractive or interesting or even, you know, like worthy of friendship because they played somebody who was so, you know, so great. Okay. Uh, your patient is that people gossip about you. You're a hot topic. People got, oh, oh my gosh, guys, what did I just say about karma for this past love? People gossip about how this past person who played you really badly is getting karma. And how your karma is that you're coming up and becoming more popular, that you have strong boundaries now. And this person's karma is that maybe they're becoming less attractive. Um, people don't really, you know, they don't mess with them like that. They don't really want friends with them anymore. Guys, I'm, when I tell you that beauty comes from the inside, I'm so serious. When you treat people like poop and you talk a bunch of poop and <laughs> you're so mean to people, that energy starts to show up on your face. You know, when you, when you don't heal your wounds, it shows up on your face. You know, you just look, you just look sadder. Your skin's duller, you know, um, you get, you know, wrinkles faster. I don't know what to say, but like, you know, your hairline starts receding, all that stress you keep in your body, it starts to mess with the way that you look too. It's not, it's not that looks are so important, but it's almost like your energy is changing the way you look on the outside. Okay, so you, while you guys are becoming more attractive because you're stepping into your authenticity, you're keeping strong boundaries so people don't take advantage of you, you are, you know, giving to people who give to you, you're nurturing yourself, you're becoming more attractive in that way, okay, because you're giving to yourself and accepting positive energy. This person in the past who played you, they have not recovered, their reputation has not recovered from what they've done to you, okay? Karma karma so your, your reputation is that you walked away from this person and that they're getting major karma people are gossiping about that people are gossiping about how you came up and now you're so attractive and like even seductive and people are seeing this person and they're like huh, you know they're like oh gosh you there you were revealed to be a real a real and true gem okay you were revealed to be a true gem while this person was rhinestone okay now let's look here at the Island 10 Wellness Law of Attraction and Love Oracle deck. What's your reputation? Gratitude, wow. Your reputation is that you're grateful. You're grateful even for challenges in your life. Or you even grateful for the challenges. Wow. I totally see why people like really like you. I, I see it, I see it. <laughs> okay, because you have gratitude for every area of your life. Like even when things get hard for you, you know that life is working for you and not to you. You guys know that recently we've been, you know, calling obstacles for what they are. Blocks are the building blocks to your success. As you continue to gain skills that help you overcome these blocks, the skills that you gain are going to build onto your success. So when you see a challenge and you see a block, know that you're about to level up. You're about to gain a whole new skill. It's gonna take you to a whole new place. That's how you guys see challenges these days. So people are like astounded that you don't get down on yourself when things get tough. You get tough when things get tough, okay? I love it. What's your reputation? Not enough. Frustrated relationship, yeah. You guys, reputation is that if something's not enough for you, you're gonna walk away. You're not gonna. You're also that you don't self sabotage anymore. Okay, you'll still stand your ground. You'll do whatever you need to do. You guys don't really have like fear, ego issues anymore. You operate out of love, and you see if any if anybody's not offering you the same energy back, you're like deuces. Okay. Yeah, flamingo, enjoying friends, balance and chaos. 
dealing with your emotions and mastering your energy and vibration. I can't make this up, guys. Your reputation is that you're able to remain balanced when things are not balanced around you. Your reputation is that you can deal with your emotions, okay? You don't get in your own head, really. You don't really overthink anymore in the same way that you used to. Um, you are really balanced and grounded. You're able to use your heart and your mind, okay, together to make decisions. Crisis, restructuring life, blessing within, clearing space, bring solutions. Yeah, you, you guys see crises in your life as divine restructuring. You realize that things sometimes need to fall apart so they can come together, okay? That's amazing. And serenity, yes, taking care of your vibration, positive environment, clearing space and energy, balancing. I can't, again, I can't just make this up. You're amazing at balancing your own energy. That's part of your reputation that you're a very serene person and you take care of yourself. Also that you love all of yourself. You love and accept your inner darkness and your light for total self-love, okay? You don't reject any part of yourself. Does that mean you want to stay in the same habits and negative patterns you've had forever? No, but you accept that they're there so you can look at them and you can change them if need be, okay? So I love that. You can transmute them into a healthy way of using these things. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap things up with my white and yellow cards now. What is your reputation? These are my, so my favorite deck. If you guys want to see me use this deck more, specifically about people like view you or like what they think about you, check out my TikTok. I do videos over there a lot with this deck and just in general. And my face is always on there. Usually I look a little cuter too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. I think you're an amazing person. So that's, that's your rotation. People think you're an amazing person. Straight up. I see you're doing better without me. Bye. What did I just say, guys? I see you're doing better without me. And the back says, I'm jealous of the attention you receive. I can't make it up. I can't make it up, okay? You guys are showing yourself that love, so what are people doing? Showing it to you as well. You're out, your inner world is being reflected on the outside. And as you become more involved in, in giving yourself more love, more, you know, more peace, guarding your energy, people are wanting to give to you in the same way you give to yourself, okay? Amazing. We have amazing in bed, experience, generous lover. Okay, people feel like you, you would be that or your reputation is that you are amazing in bed. Maybe people talk about that, okay? Maybe people, you know, your ex would be talking, right? Oh, guys, what did I just say? Your reputation, wandering eye. Someone taken wants you. What, what did I say earlier about open relationships? Someone taken could want you. That's part of your reputation is that people question themselves and their relationships because they're like, oh, this person's kind of fun, okay? Or your person is looking around. Um, I don't really feel that way. I feel like it's the opposite. Someone taken could want you. All right, hilarious. Your patient is that you're hilarious. You have amazing comedic timing. You're naturally funny. Yeah, you're a master manifester. Genie in a bottle. Can't make it this up, guys. Okay, what else do we have in here? Wow, your patient is that people watch your social media. The people are jealous of your social media as well, or like maybe how much attention you get on social media. I have serious feelings for you. We get people fall for you easily. I think ghosting is best for the both of us that you will ghost people if they don't treat you right. And what is the last one, Divine Spirit? Ooh, wow, we have person in red. I love this card. Alluring to all, natural sex appeal, magnetic aura, and generous, okay? You're very generous, you're very kind, very giving. People naturally you know, just wanna be with you, okay? Wow, we had the Hopeless Romantic as the very first card, and look what came out now, Hopeless Romantic, okay? People, people fall for you, okay? You're kinda, kinda that girl, you're kinda that guy, kinda that person, okay? People want to get into really relationships with you. Okay, so let me recap quickly. Your reputation is that people want to keep up with you like the Kardashians, okay? People say that you're a front runner in almost anything that you do. You have the Midas touch right now. People could mistake this energy and feel like um, you're doing it for clout, you're doing it for power, but really you have very pure intentions. Your reputation could be that you know people, people mistake you or they're committed to misunderstanding you. Uh, that you get along with people really easily. You make connections really easily. People are very attracted to you. You're a workaholic. You work super hard. Um, you're someone who has firm boundaries. People get two versions of you depending on how they treat you. Either you're bitchy or you are super nice to them, okay? It depends on how they treat you. Um, reputation is also that people want to travel with you. People feel like, people feel like you're like family to them. 
you feel like you heal very easily from difficult situations even when people try to literally stab you in the back and take you down you rise like a phoenix from the ashes every time your reputation is that you will take it will keep them like turn off your emotions like a light switch for people and leave them questioning like what they've done and leave them to take accountability for whatever happened in their lives Reputation is that when you do leave people alone, these people go through huge karmic awakenings and they realize that they'll never meet anybody else like you because you had that rare, genuine energy when you wanted to give to them without any expectation of anything else back. And they'll never get that back again because people just aren't like that these days, to be honest. Uh, reputation is that you're becoming more mature, that people are interested in you, even if they're in a relationship. Um, that that one person from your past who played you and did you so dirty they their their reputation will never recover from that okay people know because you're not the only one this person did dirty by the way people know about this and they gossip about it and your reputation is that you have ascended so far past this person this person isn't even your type you're not even in their league anymore okay and this person is you know all upset her you know whatever they're they're doing their thing um your reputation is also that you are able to handle crises really well uh, or crisis is, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, you're able to handle challenges really well. You see challenges as building blocks to your success because you know you're gonna get up level skills whenever you conquer these challenges. Um, your reputation is that people are jealous of the attention you receive. They, they wanna be like you. People feel like you're an amazing person. They see you're doing better without them in your life. You're super funny. You're a great manifester. People have serious feelings for you and you're just, you're just that girl, okay? You're just that person. I really hope that you enjoyed today's reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, check out the OG reading if you would like. It's going to be all about what people think when your haters talk to them, okay? what people, How people react when your haters talk to them and try and spew dirt on your name, okay? That's a T. Um, what else do I have for you guys? I have a Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, I have a TikTok where I you know, do a lot of videos. I do a lot of videos on Patreon, Patreon too. And uh, oh, I have a website. We have some purchase personal readings with me. Okay, that is all for today. Hope, you'll, hope to see you guys in the next one. Okay, love and light. Bye. Hey there, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the 48 Laws of Power, this is your reading. I have a feeling a lot of people chose this pile because this book is so popular but let's go ahead and get into your reading what is your current reputation okay uh let's go ahead and look at the final rose tarot to begin and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for your messages okay so what is your current reputation for those who chose the 48 laws of power what's your current reputation oh wow okay so we have the beauty queen card coming out first Oh, you know what I just heard? Because you also have the drama card underneath this. Okay, your reputation is that, oh my goodness. Okay, this here is starting off strong here, is that your success and your achievements and your beauty starts drama behind the scenes. I know, I know, it's wild. We're starting off heavy. Um, so yeah, your reputation is that you're very beautiful, you're very put together. Um, you also like achieve a high caliber of success or that you people feel like you're destined to achieve a high caliber of success because this person just like, I guess one Miss USA, like number two title. Nothing to sneeze at, nothing to sneeze at. I once, uh, my sister once like got this card in a reading and she was like, number two, second place. <laughs> I was like, no, it's still really good. So yeah, people see you as somebody who is really creative as well, has a lot of really amazing ideas. This is the queen of wands in the regular tarot. So people see you as being someone who's, you know, really attractive and honestly, whose level of success and beauty causes drama okay people can feel the need to compete with you they feel the need to keep up with you i mean keep, keep up with the joneses like you guys could even be setting some sort of beauty standard that you don't even really realize okay and for those of you who feel like you look alternative you look different the thing is you're setting a beauty standard for people who either look like you or want to look like you you know what i mean or people who look similar to you. They feel like they need to live up to your version of beauty because you're living it so authentically, you're so comfortable in your skin. And not necessarily that you look a certain way, it's that you're so comfortable in the way that you look, okay? That's what they want to emulate as well, all right? And that's what causes them drama behind the scenes. Your reputation is that you come out on top every time, challenge winner, that you're successful. Again, this is a six of wands. So again, that your success 
is um is very eye-catching okay you put in a lot of work to be successful and then you've overcome a lot a lot of challenges in your life you come out on top every time people try to mess with you and it just doesn't work it doesn't work all right yeah a lot of cards come out here. i'm actually going to take them all um we also have the quality time card so people really enjoy spending time with you i'm hearing that you're really funny that people love to laugh when they're around you you may feel comfortable and at home okay i'm also hearing that your hair is really attractive that's part of your reputation that you have, like, have really great hair really beautiful hair you also have self-elimination so this is the eight of cups i believe yeah in the regular tarot and your reputation is that you will remove yourself from situations that aren't supporting you or aren't lifting you okay and um and people have a hard time getting you to stay in their lives that's interesting people will act toxic towards you once and you'll be like time to go <laughs> you're like you don't gotta worry about me like that's the energy okay what's your reputation for those child number three the free spirit yeah what did i just say people have a hard time pinning you down you're so adventurous is what your reputation is that you like to travel you have to go on vacation you like to relax you know when to work hard and when to relax okay people also feel like they can't pin you into a box okay they can't box you up and say this is what you are because you always bust yourself out of it you always try something different something new you always are you know unexpected you're always evolving in an unexpected way so people really like that about you a lot okay reputation hometowns okay your reputation is that and you're going to be a success people feel like you're going to be a success this is the ten of pentacles and the regular tarot your reputation could be that you have um a really nice home or that you have a good relationship with your family it could also be that people from your hometown do not recognize you at this level of success like people you went to high school with people you went to middle school with they're like who is that i've never seen them like that before in my life they had this whole new level of confidence you know, a whole new level of assurance that I sure didn't give them. People are astounded that you have this confidence that they didn't give you, okay? You know, some people are only happy with you being confident when they can give you the confidence. Like when you say, for example, oh my gosh, I don't like the way that, you know, this or that looks. And they're like, no, you look amazing. No, be confident, be so happy. But when you stand up and say, I love the way this looks on me, people are like, doesn't look that good <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> it's ridiculous so yeah um people from your hometown are shocked by you that's probably your reputation is that you're so different from who you were back when you were living in your hometown all right we have the advisor as well so your reputation is that you advise other people you help other people you give other people really great advice people can look up to you and it's it's saving people look up to you your reputation is also that you've gone through a lot of spiritual lessons um and they're able to share those lessons with other people now Per, we love that. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the Modern Witch Tarot. That was the final rose tarot that I just used. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. All right, you have the Emperor. Wow, your reputation is that you're solid. You're a solid friend. You're a solid sibling. You're a solid, you know, parent. You're just there for people. Um, you could also be, you know, really there for yourself as well. You stand up for yourself. That's part of your reputation. People cannot walk all over you. I'm hearing doormat. Like maybe you guys were a doormat in the past. People did walk all over you or they tried to, and it just does not work anymore. You'll remove yourself before you let people walk all over you like they used to in the past. Okay. Um, yeah, you'll stand up for yourself and you're solid in who you are. Um, your reputation is that people cannot shake your knowledge of who you are now. People can tell you this, that, and the third about yourself and you're like, Tuh, okay. And you don't believe them because you, you've searched your soul and you know who you are now. I wanna tell you now, if you're struggling with anything like that, people will try, people will actually say things about you to your face to try and throw you off from discovering how great you truly are. People will throw in your face that you're this and you're that. If you feel truth within it, there's a need to explore that and see whether or not they're, you know, you need to be held accountable for something. That's always important. But if you know someone's just, you know, saying things just to say things and you know you're not that person, people validate around you like, you don't act like that, you're not like that. People will literally try and say what they, what they feel you are, what, you know, but they feel you are quote unquote so that you believe them and you don't discover how truly great you are so you get distracted you know from your own potential by worrying about what they think you are 
Don't let that happen, okay? Know, know yourself and stay, stay steady in that worth. I think that you already are. People really admire that about you. Oh my gosh, you have 10 of pentacles twice. Your reputation is that you have money, okay? Your reputation is that you're coming up right now. You're on the up and coming. You're doing really well for yourself and your family. Um, your reputation is that you're, you're bringing honor to your family. You're doing things that um, no one else in your family has done before. You're creating generational wealth and like a lineage for yourself. I know this is like getting like kind of heavy, but it's really exciting. We have the five of pentacles. Uh, reputation is that when you leave people out of your life, they're sad. The life becomes colder, less warm, less, less full of light. The thing is, when you're in this energy um, and you're someone who tries to uplift other people uh, without expectation of anything else in return, that is rare in this day and age. I really want you to recognize that is really, really rare. There are only a few people out here who really do things uh, for the, out of the goodness of their own heart and not out of like social or financial gain, you know? So when people do leave your life and think that the grass is greener, they find out pretty quickly that people out around there are trying to use them just like they tried to use you. And you never tried to do that to them. It's a cold world. I heard, I heard, heard J. Cole, cold world, man. It's a cold world. <laughs> All right, we have the four of wands. Yeah, uh, people feel like you're really fun at parties. As a reputation, maybe you didn't used to be. Maybe you used to be awkward at parties, but now you're really fun and like your life at the party. That's what I'm hearing. Your reputation is that you're really mentally stable as well. Your mental stability has leveled up so many times. Like people gotta look up to you for your mental stability when they used to be like, dang, they need to get it together. <laughs> okay, that's pretty crazy. I love that. Love that progression. Um, your reputation is that you like to wear a lot of bright colors or even neutrals. It depends. That people like your style. That's what I'm picking up on. Um, you like to spend time in nature too. It can be part of your reputation that you spend time in nature. Or you like you like getting outside. You look at like gardening. Um, your reputation is that the best is yet to come. The thing is, people see you go through a glow up every season. They feel like, okay, you think they look good now? Just wait six months. You think they're doing well now? Just wait six months, a year, two years, and watch where they're at then. Your reputation is that the yes, the best is yet to come, okay? And that's really exciting. Even when people know that, like, you're still coming out on top, they're like, oh, my gosh. They're going to come up with something even better. Something even better. Which gets your haters so pressed. So pressed. If you guys want to know how people react when your haters talk about you, check out the OG reading. That's for my subscribers only. Okay? Watch yourself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we have the Hierophant. So again, people look up to you. This is, uh, we have this card twice, actually, I believe so. Mm, we have the advisor and also the hair fan. They're a little bit different. I think they're based off different cards, but yeah, people see you as someone to look up to as part of your reputation, that you've been through a lot and that you alchemize this not only to help yourself and step into your own power and truth, but you're helping others to do the same. And that's amazing. So people look up to you as part of your reputation. Um, your, your reputation is also that you're very spiritual. You're very in tune. Uh, your reputation is that you're willing to take a risk, educated risk, I heard. And that you're, yeah, you're not afraid to try new things and step out there and look silly. You're going to, uh, you know, try a new skill until you get good at it. I just heard laugh now, cry later. Those are your haters, okay? They could have been laughing at your worth. They could have been laughing at what you were trying to achieve and accomplish when you were still the fool, when you were still new. Now they're crying because whatever you've been doing, you're conquering it. You're, you're gaining success, okay? Whatever you're doing, you're actually gaining success through it and you will be able to be financially stable, financially independent. You'll be able to provide for people around you, okay? Provide for your family if you have one. I think most people have families, <laughs> okay? You'll be able to provide for your family and people are, again, like laugh now, cry later. People did not understand your vision uh until it blew up and now you're like i'm like oh my gosh i can't believe they spotted that so early on you could have been like a nail tag before it was popular it could have been eyelash tag before it was popular people are like why are you out here gluing eyelashes people's eyelashes that's so ridiculous and now you're getting paid you know hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars for a set they're like i can't believe i didn't become a nail tech when you know so and so is becoming a nail tech that's what it is that's the energy okay your reputation is that you're emotionally mature. 
your petition is that you will pull away your emotions from people who don't deserve to see them, okay? You don't let everybody know how you feel about them. You're, I hear you're on, you're on a need to know basis. Not everybody knows about you. Like, okay, people know of you, but they don't know, but they don't actually know you, okay? That's part of your reputation. You're like a popular loner. You don't need to know basis. A lot of people do not know you, okay? A lot of people do, don't really know um, your heart and your intentions, which makes you so mysterious. I think I think uh, you're pretty transparent, honestly. Maybe, maybe you feel like you're pretty transparent, but people haven't really seen others operating in such authentic energy in a long time. And so they need to misconstrue and understand you, misunderstand you uh, to make sense of you according to their own perspective. Does that make sense? Like if people have only um, seen people who are dishonest and who lie, if they feel like people who have gotten success got it from lying or all people who are, you know, all people who are rich or who are doing well for themselves have gotten there by stepping on necks. Obviously, people are going to think that you come into success that you must be stepping on next. You must be deceiving people. But that's actually not what's happening, okay? Um, you're actually a really kind and really giving person. But people misunderstand you because they don't understand how you can be so authentic. They can't see themselves doing the same. So they have to project their own understanding of, um, you know, life onto you. All right? So don't take it personal when people don't understand you because they don't understand themselves. Okay, period. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the um, Amira's Love Oracle. Now, what's your reputation? What is your reputation? You have gossip. People like to gossip about you. That's part of your reputation. People talk about you behind the scenes. They wonder about your motives. They wonder how fair you are behind the scenes. They wonder how good of a person you are, how good of a friend you are. All right, what's your reputation? You're a hot topic for sure. All right, let's see. Now, your reputation is that you have many gifts. You're very talented, okay? You, you've been giving a lot of gifts from God and that you share those gifts with others. That's your reputation. What else? Also that you're very giving, okay? You're very generous. Wow, freedom. Your reputation is that you set yourself free from the old things that used to bind you, okay? The old thoughts you used to have, used to keep you stuck. You've been setting yourself free from all of those. Wow, we have passion and long distance. Your reputation is that people feel a passion for you from a distance. People develop crushes on you from a distance. That could be through social media. That could be through work, okay? Especially if you do like online school or even like, you know, even school in person, even in person, people, you know, they step away from you and they're like, oh my gosh, I, I feel passion for this person. All right, so your reputation is that people develop crushes on you, especially from a distance. It definitely could be online. Your reputation is that you're you're maturing. You're becoming a really mature person. All right, what else do we have? Just a, just a, one, like one more. Just one more. And we have money. What did, I just, what did I just say about money? Come on. Your reputation is that you're coming into money. Okay? You're, people feel like you're destined to be honestly rich. I'm not even going to hold back. I'm not even, even going to trip. I'm not even going to hold back. People feel like you're destined to have a lot of money you're destined to be very well off, okay? They just feel like the way that you're going, you cannot be stopped, all right? You, no one can stop you getting to the bag. <laughs> Honestly, the bag comes to you. You didn't have to come to the bag. <laughs> it's like you're It's like you're very attractive to money. Money finds you attractive, all right? And you got haters because of it. Hater wishes they could be you, obsessed. If you wanna know how people are, how people are reacting to your haters, check out the OG reading. You must be subscribed though. Okay, those are only for my OGs, okay, my subscribers. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, what is your current reputation? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Oh, we have dream partner. Come on now. Perfect match, soulmate. Feels like you could be the dream partner as a reputation is that, you know, you're like someone's dream spouse, that dream person. We have, we have mysterious, sexy, charming, magnetic. Okay, you're very magnetic. Your energy is very magnetic. And again, like I said, you're mysterious. People can't really like tell your motives. Okay, because they're so pure, people don't even believe that you have those motives. They're like, there's no way you're doing this at the goodness of your heart, because they wouldn't do it at the goodness of their own heart. Um, that's you, boo. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's see. Popular loner. 
come on i do i even need the cards guys seriously popular loner past peeps lurking local celeb pop and socials you're a local celeb like i said yeah people are very very interested in you even if they don't know you personally people know of you you're a popular loner okay okay great cook <laughs> it's just that you're a great cook or you're a foodie that you really love food or you maybe you're gifted culinarily all right we have spiritualist healer witch spell worker a, a angelic persona people see you as being somewhat angelic and they see that you're a spiritualist as part of your reputation busy bee <laughs> working hard uh so being social life people see that you're really 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 hard worker that you work hard to express these gifts that you work hard to come out on top okay let's see it's time to move forward yeah you always know when it's time to move forward you don't stay stuck that's part of your reputation you, you never stay stuck acts up embarrassing tantrum behind the scenes drama what that was the first card that came out guys your beauty and success causes behind the scenes drama people act up when your name gets brought up people act up when your name gets brought up people don't want to it, it, and it's embarrassing people people throw a temper tantrum when your name gets brought up and people have good things to say about you they're like oh my god like yeah whatever they reached this milestone but did you hear you know like their hair isn't growing now like their hair is breaking off or like you know um their, their person broke up with them now they must not be a good partner like they'll they'll bring up anything they said the wrong word they, 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 their vocabulary isn't really that great like they'll bring up anything to try and uh like you know diminish you do you guys watch sunset on um, uh, oc selling selling oc <laughs> this is the most random part of the reading give me a second um on selling on selling orange county on netflix Maybe you guys want to watch this because I found I found the season I found the season to be really spiritual for some reason. <laughs> there are these two people, two Alexandras, Rose and Jarvis. You guys must know what I'm talking about. Where they're real estate agents and they're like selling houses, they're doing really well, they're very successful, they stay in their own lane, they don't really get involved in other people's drama, whatever. The other people in the office literally hate them for seemingly no reason. They will make up all this drama about how they're not being nice to them, how they don't compliment them. And those girls will try and, and you know, Rose and Jarvis, they'll try and clear things up being like, no, I like you. I never said I didn't like you. I compliment you. You know, I actually have been there for you. Actually, you're the one who says that you don't like me and I understand where that's coming from. And then the person who accused them of, you know, being rude to them will go have, have a temper tantrum. They can't even believe that they would even, you know, bring up something that, that they should be accountable for. And these people are just like the biggest haters. Apparently, I didn't even watch the end of the season yet, but apparently at the end of the season, these two great real estate agents, two women, they end up selling this like $20 million house and no one on the cast congratulates them. No one else congratulates them. This is how people act up when they see you're, you're hitting your goals. This is the same way they act up. And it, it, the funny thing is, these two girls did nothing to anybody else aside maybe hold them accountable occasionally, okay? Most of the time they were staying out of it. When people villainized them, people found the tiniest, tiniest reasons to hate them, okay? And said that they hated them because they were successful, they were beautiful, they were staying in their own lanes, and they were getting their job done. Okay, that's how people react to you. And on, it may not make any sense because you're not like that. And this is what it is. It won't, it won't make sense to you because you're not a hater. <laughs> okay, you can't relate to their hater ways. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? I feel like you moved on and don't care anymore. Yeah, people feel like you moved on. And that's part of the reason why they act up because you don't really care about what they have to say about you. People, people used to really love when you wanted to be liked by everybody and you cared about their opinion because it meant they had leverage over you. Now that you no longer care about people's opinions, you don't care about being disliked. All you care about is cosmic law, being in line with cosmic law, being in line with, you know, what your purpose is, what you're doing and making sure that you're a good person at the end of the day, that your conscience is clear. These people cannot stand it. They act up whenever your name is brought up and it's embarrassing period okay <laughs> well we have spouse material best friend and super sexy yeah your reputation is that you're your spouse material you were that you were just that person you were just that person people try to act like they don't know why you're not speaking but um they know why they know why um let's wrap things up now with the kipper deck okay and then we're gonna get into the og reading again all about what how do people react when your haters speak on your name okay let's see 
What's your reputation now? Let's finish up with that. Wow, mature woman. We got mature woman twice in two different decks. You are maturing like a fine wine. Okay, I was hearing your agent like a fine wine. People can't pull one over on you either. Uh, I'm hearing that that phrase. I like to think that I coined it, okay? I like to think that I coined it, unfuckwittable. <laughs> if I did it, that's fine, that's fine. I, I'll, I won't take credit if I didn't coin it, but I thought I used it. I don't know, maybe I used it first, I don't know. Um, yeah, you're, you're unfuckwittable, okay? People cannot mess with you. It doesn't work out with them. Even if they won the battle, spirit will make sure they do not win the war. Okay, so spirit is not like people messing with their chosen people, the people who are putting in the effort to help others ascend and to help others get to the place that you are at. You're not gatekeeping your sacred success. You're actually helping and advising others and showing them through example how to come into balance with themselves and how to love themselves. When people speak negatively about that, they're speaking negatively on the divine. They don't take kindly to that, okay? I'm telling you. You also have main male, the bottom of the deck. Um, you have people who are interested in you romantically. And you also have um, this like main character energy, okay? What else do we have? <laughs> All right, we have child. Your reputation is that you're in contact with your inner child, that you've healed your inner child. You seem very happy from the inside out. That's the thing. Like people can tell who are struggling with their inner child that you've already healed yours. Okay, and that you're you're happy with yours. Yeah, false person. Wow, your reputation is that you're not a false person. This came out in reverse. So you're genuine, you're real. And that the people who used to surround you and talk poop about you, those are the people who have you know, karma. All right, message. Your reputation is that you have a real message to give to other people. And again, that you're being gossiped about. You're a hot topic of conversation. Um, your reputation is also that you have a lot of people who want to talk to you. Again, a popular loner. You may not actually get a lot of people like coming to you because they're intimidated, but people do want to message you. And ask you about your spiritual path as well. But they're very nervous to ask you. They feel like you, you know, you wouldn't really want to talk to them or, or respond to them for some reason. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I'm drinking wine. Okay. <laughs> Look at the next couple of cards. What's your reputation? Occupation. Okay, again, that your occupation is going to make you a lot of money. You're going to be successful in your occupation. People feel like your occupation is part of your divine spiritual path. And what's the last card, Divine Spirit? For reputation. What's the last card? Imprisonment. Oh my gosh. You have people in their heads about you. I'm telling, I'm telling you. There are people who really think about you and compare themselves to you day in and day out. Um, instead of looking at their own problems, okay? People are stuck on the fact that they weren't able to play you. They weren't able to pull the wool of your eyes. That you don't care about them anymore. You don't care about their opinions of you anymore. And they're stuck in that because they want to be able to control you and your image. If they can't control you, they want to be able to control the narrative around you. And they can't even do that. It makes them feel like they are, their influence is just gone. They should be worried about themselves, <laughs> you know? But um, hey, this is, it is, it is what it is. Much of a concern at the bottom of the deck. Your reputation is that every time you glow up, your haters are concerned okay they're having group chats they're like oh my god did you see that they just hit um you know so and so followers they just hit this new goal they just enrolled in you know they just enrolled in school again like your haters love to keep up with you they're actually some of your biggest fans because they're always like pocket watching you and counting your accomplishments it's like um you know thanks for the voucher confidence like what is this so yeah as your reputation. So let's go ahead and recap really quickly. So again, your reputation is that you're very beautiful, very gorgeous, handsome, and successful. Okay, you overcome every challenge that's been put in front of you, and this causes drama behind the scenes. And people act up when your name gets brought up. Okay, because they don't like all the power and like clout and do the the way your name makes ripples around you. Okay. Uh, reputation is that people love spending time with you. That you're a very free spirit. People cannot put you in a box because you continue to surprise them. People cannot mistreat you because you will eliminate yourself from the equation, that you really will help people. That you're not trying to like gatekeep your secrets or anything. You're actually trying to help people um, to achieve the same level of success that you have. The reputation is that people from your hometown don't even recognize you anymore. You're completely different from when you were in high school or when you were in middle school, obviously middle school, but definitely high school as well. 
Um, your reputation is that you're a boss, you handle your business, you stick up for yourself. People cannot play you, people can't mess with you because you will stick up for yourself and you don't play that game. You will lead people and they will never feel your presence again. They will never feel that kind of like warmth and kindness from people because it's very, very rare in today's world, okay? Um, your reputation is that you're not afraid to take a risk. You're not afraid to put yourself out there. Um, your reputation is that you are well known, but not a lot of people know your spirit. Not a lot of people know like who you are at a personal level. People love to watch your social media though. People feel like you are very free. Um, the people develop crushes on you from afar. People feel you're very gifted and that they love to gossip about you. People love to gossip about you and especially about your money, um, that you're making a lot of money. Your reputation is that you will make a lot of money, that you're gonna be very successful in the future, that you're maturing very well. You're aging like a fine wine. You're becoming more beautiful with age. Your reputation is that people have tried to prove that you're a false person and they, they failed. Okay, people have failed to control the narrative around you and your spirit and your energy is too strong for people to try and control it. It speaks for itself. No one can control the narrative around you. You control your own story, always. Your reputation is that you've healed your inner child. Uh, people, again, people like talking about you. Uh, you're people's dream person. You're their perfect match. Again, you're a popular learner. People like lurking on your pages. You're a local celeb. You could be a foodie. Um, you could have gifts to culinarily. You're very busy. You're working very hard. Um, people could feel like you're a witch or a spellbearer or a spiritualist as part of your reputation. Your reputation is also that you're very mysterious and sexy, um, that you move forward when it's time to. Uh, people act up when your name gets brought up because they're afraid of the power that you hold and the way that it reflects on what inner work they're not doing. Okay, <laughs> that is what we have for today's reading. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Become an OG today, so you can watch the OG reading all about how people react when your haters speak on your name. Okay, I know you want to hear it. I want to hear it. I know you want to hear it. Um, you also have the Patreon, okay, where I do videos just like this. And I also do um, shorter videos, general general readings. I do channel messages over there, way more channel messages over there. Um, what else? I have TikTok, where my face is on there like almost all the time. So if you want to see more of my face, go on to TikTok. And I have a website where you can book a personal reading with me. Okay, thank you so much for watching today's reading. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. All right, love and light. Bye. Hello, it's my OGs who stayed to the very end of the video. I'm so happy to have you all here today. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Let's go ahead and get straight into the OG reading. How do people react when your haters speak on your name? I want to know this one so bad. All right, so we're going to start with the final rose tarot. And while I was shuffling the energy for the cards, uh, we had the hot seat, okay? The bottom of the deck energy, the hot seat. So when people, when... Okay, I'm like trying to get the phrasing right. The way others react when haters speak in your name is that they put them in the hot seat. They're like, what do you mean by that? What, what are you trying to say by that? Like, where's your proof? Where's your receipts? People ask for receipts about you because they feel like this person is just trying to stir up drama. And your haters will sit there like, uh, 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 you know, like, you know, robot. They can't even control themselves. They're like, oh, I didn't even, I don't know. I just like heard that from somewhere. I just like heard something like, People are like, okay, like it's so weird. So let's just this first card. So far as it's not, <laughs> it's not good. All right, so how do people react when haters speak in your name? How do people react? Wow, people literally come to your, def oh, wow. People literally come to your defense so quickly. We have for the right reasons and insecure. People immediately say that, no, this person is doing this for the right reasons. They're actually a really kind and giving person. This person is actually has a lot of, you know, uh, authenticity, they're genuine, they're real, they're kind. People immediately come to your defense when your haters try and speak in your name and they'll actually say to this person, you're just being insecure. They'll see right through, pe oh, wow. People see right through your haters and feel like they are insecure because you are becoming influential for helping people for the right reasons, okay? Because you're an advisor. People will immediately say, no, this person is a messenger. They're, they're an advisor. They're actually helping people. In fact, they've even helped me. People actually speak on the times where you've helped them through insecurity, where you helped them through something, what they were going through, you, where you were kind to them, okay? And they'll come to your aid pretty much immediately when your haters speak on your name, all right? Well, how do people react when haters speak on your name? How do people react when haters speak on my viewer's name? Cocktail party. Okay, what else do you have to say about that? 
the gossip. Okay, people will um, start to talk about times where they've had you at parties and you were fine. <laughs> people will talk about times where the, you were in their presence and you were fun. You were getting along with everybody. Everybody had a good time with them. They're like, really? Like that person's like that? Like I had them over for a party and they were great. Like I loved hanging out with them, you know? They don't even gossip. They don't even do anything like that. In fact, you, you know, you're the one gossiping. I don't really, I don't really see why though. This person was great. People will question why this person is, is gossiping. Okay, because they feel like they're gossiping for no reason. Uh, I feel like they're looking at you for no reason. All right. How do people react when they when your haters speak on their name? How do others react when my viewers haters speak on their name? My spirit. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. We have the end. People will literally try to separate themselves from these people. Some people will even try to end friendships because they're gossiping too much. You know, somebody who will literally gossip about anybody who's in their life and you have to take a step back and feel like, oh my gosh, if this person is gossiping about people that they used to like or that they do like, they say that they like, what are they saying about me? All right. That's really what's going on is that people are looking at these haters and feeling like you're gossiping way too much. I don't, want, I don't want my business to get out there, so I'm going to have to separate myself from you. Um, people do come to your aid with the lover's card here. People will react, even if they don't say it out loud, they feel, they feel connected to you. They feel like a love for you, okay? They feel like you help them, either help them through things, or that you're a kind person, that they're attracted to you, whatever it may be. That they have a crush on you and they don't want to they don't want to admit this some of the people that your haters are complaining to you actually have a crush on you or they like you in some way they're attracted to your energy in some way and some of them don't want to say this but they're actually secretly you know they like you they're like dang this person yeah this person's saying this person's saying so much about you they're acting like a rat they're trying to tell your secrets they're trying to make up lies about you even and no one really believes this everyone's believing that you're actually a beauty queen that you're regal you're royal that you're respected you're creative um you're powerful no one's believing what this person has to say okay it is what it is um let's go ahead and now look at my yellow and white cards how do people react when your haters speak on your name? This is good. It's good already. How do people react? Pushover needs boundaries, unfair treatment. Yeah, people feel like they're, they're being treated unfairly. Okay? People are like, oh my God, I wish this person was here to defend themselves. And um, if you are still friends with any of your haters, they're like, yeah, this person needs to set boundaries with this person. People get concerned for you especially if you are still in a relationship with this person because they feel like you have no idea that some people could be treating you badly. This could be people you've already walked away from too who feel like you're still connected to these haters in some way so they get concerned about you, okay? Um, they can have like pushovers too. They can like kind of go with the flow uh, and they're like, ha ha ha, yeah, they're so weird. But inside they're like, this is so unfair to them, okay? What else? He's spiritual, hippie, relaxed. People, again, people try to come to your aid and be like, they're just, they're just spiritual. Like, just chill out. <laughs> they're just spiritual. They're just a hippie. Like, just relax. Okay? That's wild. How do people react when your haters trying to speak in your name? How do people react? Watching social media, jealous, okay? Posing. People, people say this person is just jealous. I feel like they've been watching your social media way too much. They're way too involved in your social media. The, the bottom words are angry and sad. Angry and sad. So people feel like people feel like your haters are angry and sad by watching your social media. That's how they react. They're like, dang, you're angry and sad. <laughs> All right, we have God or goddess energy, divine energy, chosen one. Uh, people realize that you're that other people are hating on you because you're a chosen one, because you're in your God or goddess energy. Because you're, you're trying to live in your purpose. And these people don't really know what their purpose is. And so they want to speak in your name and try and tarnish what you're doing, okay? Because they haven't found their path yet. Because they're too afraid to pick up their own cross, pick up their own burdens, and walk with them, okay? The way that you've been doing for years now. These people are too afraid to look at to look at your own to look at their own darkness. So they have to drudge things back up about you as if that's the same version of you they're even talking about. That was like that was like six. I, I thought it was like six iPhones ago. <laughs> the version of you they're talking about was like six iPhones ago. And <laughs> they want to act like this is still current, babe. We got we got airphones um I, I, blah, blah, blah. we have AirPods Pro now, all right? We were still using wireless headphones when everything went down with you, okay? Just chill. 
All right, karma has been served behind the scenes butt whooping. Yeah, when people talk in their name, people know that they're going to get karma. People will actually wait and secretly uh, hold out for when your haters will get karma. They're like, oh, someone's speaking on someone's soul's name, a name again. Just wait like a few weeks and they're going to have something bad happen to them. People at this point, like the others that your haters are talking to, know that they should not, they should be very, very careful with your name. Very, very careful with your name because I said in the last pile, and you guys saw pile number three, that because you guys are trying to help other people, you're coming to their authenticity and power, you are doing divine work. You are a light worker. When people speak badly about light workers, when people speak badly about people who are trying to help raise the collective mindset, you're working against the divine. You're working, you're on the wrong team, love. You know what I mean? Um, and you're gonna get karma served, okay? Uh, people people bite their tongues when their haters speak on you. They don't want to try and mingle in that energy because they know they're going to get karma too. And they see these people getting behind the scenes butt whoopings. Okay, how do they react when your haters speak on your name? Past returning, rekindle, return to broken promises. Buyer beware. This is funny. Um, people feel like, yeah, you're talking all that ish right now. But in a few weeks, you're going to want them back. That's wild. People feel like your haters want, secretly want you. That's why they're so obsessed with speaking your name and controlling your narrative because they want you in their lives. But they want to rekindle with you. And they're like, yeah, you say all that right now, but you really want to either be them or you want to be in their life. So sure, whatever. How do people react when your haters speak in your name? Let's go on a date while wow, people are interested in you. <laughs> People are like, wow, this person is so, you are so beautiful. The thing is, your haters are free marketing for you. They're free marketing. People go ahead and like, oh my God, this person is like crazy from what I've been hearing. I gotta go figure out what's going on with them. And they go watch your page. They go look at your social media. And they're like, wait, this person is beautiful, unproblematic, and they're living their best life. And they're paid. Like what? Now I have a crush on them. <laughs> So people want to actually ask you on a date when your haters try and speak in your name because they're like, wow, this person got everybody ruffles. Mm. The person got everybody's feathers so ruffled. I got to go see what's going on with them. Okay, y'all are a boss. That's what people think. All right, let's see. What do people think when your haters speak in your name? I'm asking friends for advice about you. All right, um, when people speak in your name, other people go and ask others about you. Like, it starts a conversation, okay? It's not just like one thing. They'll end up being going to somebody else and be like, did you hear about what so-and-so had to say about, you know, my OGs? And they'll be like, yeah, 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 I heard about that. This person's full of, full of S, you know, they're, they're full of it. Um, don't even believe them, blah, blah. People go and ask and fact check about you because people try and make up lies on your name. It is what it is. People, people will really stop others from liking you because they are, they, they don't want other people to reflect on how your energy has changed so much from where you used to be when you were alongside them, okay? It's going to make people realize that they're not putting in the work, they're not elevating, they're not, you know, trying to evolve their soul and trying, you know, do all this, you know, whoop-de-woo. Uh, so they, want, they don't want people to compare you to. So people speak down in your name, you know, but um, it's happening anyway. Okay. The comparisons are being made. It is what it is. But then people think, yeah, people feel like people feel like they're, they're overly concerned with their life. Wow. People, people feel like they have no life. Your haters that they have no life. Look, at, it literally says has no life. Overly concerned. People feel like your haters have no life. That they compare themselves to you constantly. Uh, people say that, you know, your haters put you on a pedestal and they're insecure about you. People, again, people see right through it. They just say that, that the, your haters are insecure. Okay? That's wild. Uh, what else do we have? I'm messed up and I'm willing to find the consequences. Yeah, people see right through your haters. They feel like you're just mad because you messed up in their relationship. And you can't take accountability. So you're trying to do everything to twist the story and blame it on this person. Make them seem like a bad person to make you look better. That's, that's exactly what they think. That's how people react to your haters. What else we have? Entrepreneur, uh, empire builder, brick by brick. People say that you're building an empire. Whenever haters talk about your little, your, your little business, people are like, oh, this person is building an empire, brick by brick. People are impressed 
with your tenacity, with the determination, with the way you don't give up. Okay? What else do we have? Sexy hands. That's so random. People feel like you have sexy hands. Okay? When your haters talk about you, they're like, nah, they have, they got sexy hands. So. <laughs> so it's all good. That's so random. All right. I want to be with you, but the timing isn't right. Oh. People, people want to be able to speak like to speak on your name in a positive way, but they're like, oh, I gotta hold my tongue right now. Like I, I probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't come out as a supporter of this person right now. That is so wild. Um, what else am I getting with this? I wanna be with you, but the timing isn't right. Uh, people wanna switch friend groups. When your haters start talk, talking about you, they're like, that, that person is over there moving and shaking and we're just talking about them? I'd rather be over there where they're actually making progress, all right? Um, people feel like you were justified in, in ghosting this person. When your haters speak in your name, they're like, oh, that's why they left. Because this person's a hater. They're, they're a mess. Um, you also have damn your one bad bitch. Okay. So people see, people say that you're, you're, you're a baddie when your haters speak in your name. Um, what else do we got here? Let's look at the Kipper deck and then I'll, I'll follow up again with some more white and yellow cards. Cause those really have the tea. What do people think? Wow, privileged lady. Wow, people feel like, um, people say that you're, you're rising the ranks in life, okay? You're doing better than other people and that's why people wanna speak in your name. It is what it is, like, you're doing better than them. That's why they wanna try and speak on you. How do others react when your haters speak in your name? Divine Spirit, how do others react when my viewers' haters speak in their, on their name? The lovers, bye. People get crushes on you. Well, when others talk poop about you, you know, the people who are listening develop a crush on you because the people will say things like they think they're all that with their business and them getting followers and them looking so gorgeous. Like they just look different every single week. They think they're so, they think they're so attractive, blah, blah. People are like, people looking you up like, damn, they are attractive. They are about their business. Like, again, it's free advertising for you. It's crazy. People don't know they're, the, they're your biggest fans. Well, we have gift. People said that you're gifted. Okay, that's why these haters are so jealous. They see right through your haters. There's, there's no like, oh, I kind of believe them. Oh, I think they may be right about this person. There's none of that. There is none of that. And if, I, if you guys watch my previous readings, you'll know that the collective has already gotten to this place where people are no longer doubting the truth behind your name. They're no longer doubting who you are. You have stood the test of time. Your character has stood the test of time. You've only become finer under pressure. Nothing can break you. I want you to know that for the rest of, for the rest of your life. It's, it's not a joke. Nothing could ever break you. You are a diamond. You can only get finer with pressure. So people try to apply pressure to your name. God, God's not having any of that. The, the reaction is that, wow, you must be that person. You must be that, you know, you must be popping if you have haters. No one believes these people, okay? Your character is getting finer under the pressure of these people because of the way that you're not reacting. You're not giving in. You're not stooping to their level. You continue to show yourself as you are. And that's why your character is to the test of time, okay? The gift. You'll feel like you are very gifted. All right? How do people feel like when your haters speak in a name? How do others feel when your haters speak in your name? All right, wealthy man. Oh my gosh, it feels like you're about to come up. All right, people people want to be around you, especially people with money. They just feel like, yep, that, that's for me because there are other people who also have haters who recognize that, okay, this person is hot on my level because people are hating on the good that they're, that they're doing. I can relate to that. So maybe I should collaborate with them. I'm telling you, this is free marketing. For you, there is no bad publicity because you're putting yourself out there in the best light anyway. People who are committed to misunderstanding that, they can do what they want to do. But people are going to look at you and the source of that light and see, wow, you're really shining brightly. People cannot cast dirt on, on the light. People cannot cast darkness on the light. People got to know exactly where that's coming from. It is what it is. It's easy to, it's easy to see who's in the darkness and who is vibrating in the light. All right, okay, let's just get a few more from my white and yellow deck and we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, thanks for being here today. Let's see, let's see. What are people, 
How do they react when you're here to speak on your name? Wow, your success intimidates me. We cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Do we need to continue the reading? Look at this. People, people realize that your success is intimidating them. They see, like it's Windex, okay? Like Mariah Carey said, see it right through like a bathe in a Windex. Person in red, alluring to all, okay? Magnetic energy. Yeah, people feel like they're they're very magnetized to you when people speak in your name because they're just like, oh, this person got it. That's why they got haters. What else? Spiritualist, healer. They feel like you are an actual healer, okay? You're an angelic persona, all right? How do they react? Eye-catching beauty. Oh, my goodness. Electric chemistry. They feel chemistry with you when your haters speak in your name. People start developing crushes on you. When your haters speak in your name, they want to ask you on a date when your haters speak in your name. Lord, because you have serious star power. All right. What else? What else? Yeah, I would say or do anything. Self intentions. People feel like these people would just say or do anything because your name gives them clout. Speaking on your name makes them more popular. That's how much power your name holds at this point. That's how much influence you have now. Okay, you may think you're not that influential, but the thing is, your story is inspiring. You don't have to have, you know, a million followers to be someone that's influential. You don't even have to have a thousand. Your story is influential on a soul level. So people want to, you know, throw dirt in your name. This is way more influential than someone's, you know, like, uh, then that's something, that's something that's more based in ego. You know what I mean? I was trying to give an example, but I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, people feel like these people would just say or do anything that they're clout hungry. Yeah, they're, wow, they have, they are not you. Wow. People feel like they're not you. Like, you know, these, these people are just, they can't compare to you when they speak on your name. They feel like, yep, you're not, you're just not like them. I want you back. So I'd like, give me another chance. Yeah, people feel like they want you back when people speak on your name. They're like, wow, they're still such a hot topic. People are still in touch with this person. I really want them back. Just get a few. Let's just get a few more. What do people? Uh, how do people react when your haters speak on your name? How do people? This is a hot topic. The responsibilities of this relationship are not appealing to me right now. So um, when your haters speak your name, the people around them start to distance themselves. They start feeling like I don't really want to deal with this person anymore, and the responsibilities of being around this hater are not appealing to me anymore. They're just they're just not fun to be around anymore. They're always talking about. They're always talking ish about this person and that person who are actually good people. I, I can't stand it. Yeah, because people feel like you're a sweetheart. You're genuine, okay? You're down to earth as well. That's what they feel about you. I find your presence soothing. Yeah, they find your presence soothing and they find these haters irritating to their, to their spirit, okay? All right, what else we have? You're sexier than you realize. That's what they think when your head is speaking your name. Okay, cuffing season. This person wants commitment. What did I just say? People are developing crushes on you just from your haters speaking on your name. That's wild. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Look, we have my friend wants you too. Anybody? Okay, wow, wow, wow. And I love being around you. You inspire me. Whoever is whoever is speaking on your name, again, free advertising. They're making people like follow you and then kind of fall in love with you a little bit. Okay, my friend wants you too. What else do we have? Da, da, da. Yeah, it's all really positive. Spiritual, in tune. They feel like you're actually in tune. These people are just faking that they're in tune. Take mixed signals as a no. These people go back and forth on whether they even like you or not. So those that have um, the sexiest person I know. People feel like you're really, really hot. And um, yeah, these people, these haters go back and forth on whether they even like you or not. Or whether you're a good person or not. So according to who's around by the way because there are some people who are really really ride for you and they know that they can't speak their their name when they're around so there are certain people who have seen this person these haters really go in on you and then excuse me and then when they're around other people they're like oh yeah they're like pretty cool they're like really <laughs> really <laughs> now you want to switch it up because that's the supporters in the room you're so fake they these haters know you're the real deal. That's why they're hating in the first place. Spouse material, super sexy, best friend, okay? Energy vampire, desires your energy, copycat. These people see right through your haters and they know that they really just admire your energy and they want to be like you because your personality is so appealing. Okay, we're going to get three, three more. That's it, I swear. 
depressed oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yo and the reading my gosh not themselves in a funk people feel like your haters are depressed when they speak in your name because they're like are you good are you good <laughs> seriously are you good like are you are you okay mysterious sexy they, they keep it to themselves but they find you to be really attractive glass card I want to move forward, but a situation won't allow it. People actually want to come towards you when your haters speak in their name, but they have, you know, they they can't do it because they're afraid someone's going to find out, you know? So that is what's happening when your haters speak in their name. That's why people react. That was even, that was like crazier than I even thought it was going to be. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thanks for being an OG. I really appreciate you guys being subscribed to my channel. Um, and you already know all the plugs that I got. You already know my, my stuff. So thanks so much for being here. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay, bye.